Hello, it is your boy Codexual, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up a dedicated server on a certain game. Now, I don't want to say what the game is specifically because there is Evilsoft that is going around and that they would like to go after everyone and put them on a notice and try to take them down. So I'm going to limit my word on what that specific game is. It's kind of like aliens and, you know humans and whatnot, and guns, multiplayer, and awesome, awesome, great things. Anyways, let's start off with the basics, and that's how we're going to keep it. We're going to keep it very simple. You want to port forward. Now, in the link in the description, um, there's a video that I will be talking about. Linksys, Netgear, TP-Link, D-Link, and a modded WWR, uh, DDWRT router so those are the five routers that i cover in this video how to port forward if you have a different manufacturer and a model and whatnot again i will leave links in the descriptions so you guys can know how to port forward things so i want to make sure that we can get you prepared it's just i don't know if you have this brand a model manufacturer brand something something and I don't know what that is and I don't know what to tell you of how to port forward that so there's so many brands and models of routers anywho so check out that video and make sure that you got these port forward just port forward them with a TCP and UDP let's port forward them on towards our Windows machine so we want to click on start go to type in Windows firewall that wants to pop up so Windows firewall and go ahead and click on that and then we're gonna click on uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. where would it be would be change notice no make sure that you set these off if you want that's optional is it under advanced settings it should be advanced settings Aha, that's what we want. Okay, so it's under advanced settings. Okay, so what you want to do is go to inbound rules and outbound rules. So I already put them in, but um, I'm just going to show you how to do it. So new rule, then port, next. You're going to choose TCP, then you're going to copy um, 11774, dash one one seven 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 in put that in hit next allow connection next again uh, all of these leave those check marked and just go ahead and name it which I put in uh, the port range and TCP uh, the description is optional so go ahead and hit finished make sure you do the same one for UDP and do the same steps for that so again uh, new rule port then you're going to do TCP and UDP. So you're going to do this one by one, but make sure you add that. Then next, it'll have blocked the connection, but just go ahead and allow the connection and hit next and save and whatnot. Okay, cool. So that's how you port forward on your computer. And um, we want to go towards the directory of where all the files are at. And you want to go towards your mod. If you don't have the uh, Gredo underscore prefs dot cfg config, you might want to run the the exe, the executable, the application. Then this will appear. So once you got that appeared, let's go ahead and go to mods, then go to server. Now there is two options that we want. Do you want the voting or do you want the veto? I am going to mess around with the voting. If you know how to mess around with the veto, good for you. So it says voting.json.example. So if we go back towards the uh, dredo underscore pref uh, dot config and open that in Notepad plus plus, I strongly recommend you guys download that. It's an awesome tool. And we bring that up, and if we scroll a little bit down, you don't see that dot example. That's because it's an example script. 
So what we want to do is we want to rename that. So we're just going to get rid of the dot example. And go ahead and hit yes. Now it's just voting.json. Sweet. That's it. Um, if you want to edit some scripting here, and if you guys know how to script, um, it's similar similar to um, Gary's Mod. If you guys ever messed with a Gary's Mod server, if you guys were to set up a um, dark RP uh, script, it's kind of like that. Kind of. So I'm not going to get too much into that. Uh, I'm just going to leave this how it is. And I'm just going to go ahead and exit out. Now, we're going to go ahead and go back towards our server, our directory, and you want to open the Dorito underscore prefs. So we already have that opened up here. And we're going to start at the very top. Okay. So the things that we need to worry about is on line 34, player name. What What's your player name? Uh, for me, mine is Codexual. So it's asking... Um, this will pop up into the games list of what player, who's the owner of this. So you're going to go ahead and type in your name, uh, your online name, then your service tag, which mine is null, then male, female, um, then on uh, 37, it'll say something online server. I had to change that to a different name. <laughs> Again, Evil Soft might be watching. So, we want to, this is where you will change your server name. Now, if, you know, uh, with those prefixes like U.S., West, uh, West Coast server, or if you're East Coast, or if you're in Australia, or um, um, England, or whatnot, that's where you want to put that information and what type of game is it if it is it a free-for-all type of server on uh, mini games what what exactly is it so that's where you want to put the name server and that's what will show up in the gaming list now as for the message this is something after once they join in to that game list like if it was ffa uh, this is kind of like message of the day and that's where you want to display your message, like, please come support me on Discord, which the link will be in the description below. Um, so you want to put your uh, message of the day. If you want to have a server password, feel free to go for it. So that's this is pretty self-explanatory right there. Now we're going to scroll a little bit down. On line, uh, where was it? Okay, on line 62, server.voting enabled. You want to change that to number 1. So from 0 to 1. And this will enable the voting script. So each time that, oh, I don't like this specific game or this specific map, let's choose a different map and a different game type. That's where that comes into play, and that is required for you to have. You must change that to 1. So from 0 to 1. Now, for your Archon password, this is where you will need to use a Archon client, and you need to make sure that you have this password saved. All passwords are different, um, so you can even change the password if you want, but I'm just going to keep that how it is. So we're going to go ahead and copy that. And this is where, again, as I said, it just loads up into um, the file scripts. So we're basically done. All you got to do is hit save, and I'm going to go ahead and drag this down. Behind this box shows my server information, so if you guys want to run this on a uh, on a VPS or a dedicated server, uh, I can show you how to set up a dedicated server in another video if you guys truly want, want to, um, want to know, so you're not running it off of your actual Windows machine. So, but same steps will apply, because, you know... You're on a Windows, I'm on a Windows. Yeah, and anyways, we'll go ahead and move on. Um, I think that is everything for setting up the config server. So again, this is basic. Uh, we want to go back to the server, and I want to um, create a shortcut and put that into the desktop mode 
or uh, yeah, the desktop. So every time when I start up the computer, it's right there. If you reset your computer and you want to have it on startup every time the computer starts up, you want to hit the Windows key and R at the same time. This box will pop up. Type in run. Or no, we already have that run. So it's going to be shell colon startup. And this is where you want to create another um, shortcut if you want and place that right there. So every time when your computer starts up, the server will start up as well. So just a uh, little, little, little shortcuts and little things that will help you out in life. So if you're, you know, ever away or something, your computer, uh, your Windows machine didn't update, and uh, which does happen, and it just resets the computer, and your server's not running, but the computer's running. You know, just, just little stuff that helps you out in the long run. So let's talk about Archon. Archon is a, a remote client that will um, connect in towards the server. So you would think, for example, if you ever messed around with Gary's Mod or make a Gary's Mod server, um, you think that you can automatically opt yourself as admin once you enter in the game. However, once you join in on the game server that you made, you don't really have admin privileges. That's where Archon comes in, and it will act as admin for you. So, I hope that made sense. Now, I'm going to go ahead and open up Archon, uh, and we're going to go ahead and drag and drop the tools. I will name the folder as Archon. Again, everything will be in the description below. Close out of that. Open up that. And this is Archon tool. So it's going to take a moment for it to start up. Now, this is the first thing that will pop up. We can go ahead and close out of that. And um, we'll just minimize that. So it's going to be at a server. And it's going to be your server. So uh, we're running on localhost. So then the server port, which is going to be 11777. Then your Archon password. We're going to go ahead and paste that Archon password in. And it's asking for the Archon uh, port, which is 11776. You're going to hit save. And now uh, that's waiting for a connection. We want to run the server which a black terminal box command prompt will pop up and a secondary gray box will pop up. So just give it a moment. Now it says that the application's already running, so it's going to go ahead and terminate that and it's going to go ahead and restart again. And if it doesn't restart, just go ahead and close out of that. Go to your task manager. And right there, it, just, it opened up that black box. So right there, it's uh, right now it's already running. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and close out of it. So just in case if something messes up, just go to your Windows Task Manager and make sure uh, to end all of the tasks. Now it's gonna start running normally. Okay, so it made a connection, and now. This is where you want to. It's normally like uh, it should pop up here. Here, let's go ahead and. Oh, there it is. Okay. So now this pops up. So this is where you can run the commands in console. If you want to chat in the, in the game, and if you're not really playing the game, um, it will show the information such as um, the name of the server, the host, uh, if you enable sprint mode, assassination. Uh, what map is it on, variant, and how many players and whatnot. It'll show um, the start, uh, to start a game, to stop a game, and it has all these other functions. Pretty self-explanatory. And the players will start coming in, and it'll show right here. You can right-click on the player name, and you can be able to kick them, uh, ban them, copy IDs, and whatnot stuff. So now it's slowly running. <laughs> Bear with me. It says successfully, successfully connected. I wonder. Ping. 
can't ping yourself. Pong? Yeah, that's not a command. So, server name. Okay, so like again, I said the server name was US East, FFA, minigame, whatever your name is, uh, you want to name the server. I'm going to go ahead and verify on my end that I'm able to connect to this game. So uh, I am going to make the screen black. Um, I am going to mute the audio except for my microphone. So uh, let's go ahead and get rid of the display. I do have to do this end because I'm not trying to get evil soft all up in my grill. So uh, please bear with me. <laughs> so I've opened up the game uh, and I did have to pause it and whatnot because I can't show such content because evil soft is going after other people. They're going to place them on a DMCA because you know what happened on the with Twitch. People were getting taken down and they were having a 24 hour ban and I'm not trying to have that on my channel whatsoever. So I'm making sure that I'm not showing such content of gameplay. However, I am in the game. Now when we have Archon open up it will show the player's name and whatnot and it should show it for you it sometimes won't so to find out if I'm truly connected is I'm gonna go ahead and type in server dot list players and it just totally showed my IP address okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to censor that one out as well <laughs> but um, I am currently connected and I, I can go ahead and type stuff on here. So let me go ahead and um, type something from uh, um, from my end. Okay. And now, as you can see, that I was talking from the game. And now, if we talk on this side, hello from server side. Now it will identify as the server, and there's the message. So this is how you set up this dedicated server for the this game here. Now I would surely appreciate it if you guys can go ahead and hit that thumbs button, subscribe to the channel, share this uh, with all your friends and uh, family members who are enthusiastic about this game as well. And um, I hope to see you in the next video. You all take care. Peace out. What's up? Yeah, I'm back on my shit again. Chasing Benjamins, run until the very end. Yeah, every day I'm feeling great. Better than the day before, and you can see it on my face. Smiling with my glasses on, like I'm blind to all the hate. I can see all of you waving, I'm just acting like a cake.